So today, we're gonna make a free water bath canner, save you a little money. Welcome to Garden Preserve. I'm Carter, and I'm thrilled you're here today. First thing we're gonna start with is a stock pot. This can be a stock pot that you use. It can be a nice one. It can be an old one, must have a lid. Mine is nine inches tall, and that's probably the minimum you're gonna to wanna to go in order to do a pint-sized jar. We'll get into that in a minute. It's not necessary that the lid is glass. However, I found that I really like that feature. So think about that. Now this pot, I'm kind of embarrassed to even show it to you. This is a very old stock pot, very cheap, very difficult to clean. Stuff gets stuck to it. I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, and I don't really want to put my food in there, but I can put some glass jars in there and I can can. So here's the inside of my pot, just so you don't feel bad about yours. Look, can you see that? Oh, it's, it's everywhere. Anyway, none of that matters today. So you can have an old beat up stock pot, as long as it'll boil water, you're good. So we're gonna talk about three different ways to make a canner rack. That is say so that the jars don't sit on the bottom, particularly with a very thin bottom like this one has. You don't want them sitting on the bottom. You don't want a hot spot down there. You want something to, diffuse it, so whether that's water underneath the jars or some type of heat safe material underneath the jars, that's what we're going for. So a couple of different things here. Your first option is simply like a washcloth, dish rag. This is just, I actually have two of these here, two kitchen dish rags. I'm gonna bring you down and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna load these things in a minute. The next thing you can use are rings from canning jars. Again, the, these you ought to be able to get for free anywhere. Every, anyone who can has 4,000% more rings than they really need. The next thing you could do is a heat safe silicone mat. They actually make some of these now in like a, a flower shape specifically to use as a canner bottom, but this will work absolutely fine. And then if you wanna spend a little bit of money and have an actual little rack for some very small batch canning, this is a little rack that I bought on Amazon for $10. And I kinda of love it, absolutely love it. So we'll show you that one as well. I'm gonna bring you down so you can see how all of these fit in here and how my jars fit in and the measurements you need to check to make sure it's gonna be safe. You should have a lovely view of my grimy pot right now. So let's go through a couple of these things. If I'm going to use the dish towels, I'm in. I'm doing two here because these are relatively thin. So I just wanna make sure I have a good cushioning for the jars. And then we'll see how many jars I can fit in there and make sure that the height is good. seven pint jars. That's a pretty good can load of jars. Now, when we water bath can, we want the water to be one to two inches above the jars. So that means we really need at least three, maybe three and a half inches above the jar. Let's see if you can see this to the top of the pan. Okay, so I actually, I have three and a half inches. So that ought to give us room for it to come to a full rolling boil and to keep the water above the jars. Now, now you can see that I have jars all the way around. There is no place that the dishcloth is going to flap up, get in the way, pull out from underneath the jars or anything. So even if you're not doing a full seven jars in your canner load, you should fill it all the way up. Some jars can just have water in them, no lid, nothing. They're just really spaced fillers so that nothing tips over and the cloth doesn't come flying out. All right, let's look at another option. Here's the silicone hot pad. It doesn't cover the whole thing and that's all right because the jars, as long as we put them in so that there's not a lot of wiggle room, they're gonna stay off the bottom of the pot. Looser in here, 
it's okay if they clank against each other a little bit. You don't want them to, to fall over. If you're gonna do just a small batch, you would wanna put in a couple of jars that just have water in them, just so that you can keep everything standing upright. Let's look at one more free option for you. One of the canning jar lids is a bit of a puzzle. It's all gonna depend on the canning jar lids that you have available and the diameter of your pot. So I spent a little time this morning, took about 15 seconds and I figured out the pieces to my puzzle, which has me putting a wide mouth ring in the center and regular mouth rings all around the outside. And you can see that is excellent coverage. It's a little bit more of a balancing act to get these in. I'm gonna set them right in between the rings. That one sits right inside the ring, but it doesn't go to the bottom. There we go. Again, I have seven jars in there. Everything is off the bottom of the pot. So we're good to go. I would fill this with water, just like any of the other options, and process according to the recipe directions. Here's one. You probably don't have lying around your house or you'd be doing this already. I bought this on Amazon. It is a stock pot converter and changes it right into a regular type canner where you can lift and lower. Now, this is a little small for me to sit it up here like I would with a regular canner. That'll sit right in there. Now, because it's off the edges, I can't fit as many jars. So let's see, I think I got four or five in here. Four is gonna be what I can do in here. So if you have a very small load and only intend to do very small loads, that could work out quite well for you. And then it is a little easier to lift them all out. All right, I'm gonna can today. Not on this video, but you can come see it. I'll show you the results. Today, I'm gonna use my free canner here. My dish cloths. I'm gonna use this to pickle some peppers. So here we go. I have my jars heating up in our makeshift canner. The canner is now fully loaded with our hot pepper rings. I want you to notice that I have two jars with no lids on them and they're just filled with water. They're there to keep everything in place, to keep it from bouncing around or tipping over. I also have about two inches of headspace left for the water to boil. So everything should be good. I'm gonna bring these up to a full rolling boil and then we'll let the process for 10 minutes and I'll bring you back and show you. The peppers are done. They processed for 10 minutes, then I turned off the burner about five minutes ago and they've been sitting here with the lid off and let's bring them out. All right, now if you're curious how our makeshift water bath canner did, you can see what I used down there. So our homemade water bath canner did great. I have five jars of beautiful pickles. I'll put the link above to that video if you'd like to go see how to make pickles. Now that you know, you can make a water bath canner without having to go buy anything. So I'm Carter, this is Gordon Preserve. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Bye-bye.